So everyone, put your hands together for the dangerous people. There's a lot of people, isn't there? Yeah, a lot of people. Well, look, at this is a stacked panel. This is a crazy panel. So uh, why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves? So first off. Uh, I'm Colin Furs, and I make cool stuff and dig tunnels, it seems. <laughs> yeah. I'm Styro Pyro. Uh, I make a lot of uh, big lasers. Uh, things, you know. Yeah. I'm the Hacksmith. <laughs> we make it real. And I'm Electroboom, and I do electronic engineering and mistakes on my videos, basically. Yeah. I have to ask, what do you have in your hand right now? What is that? Uh, I, I, I forgot to put my weapon back in the weapon room. <laughs> what, do you want to get hurt? Ah, it's I not can bad. hear it. Yeah, we oh. should all hold hand at some mm. point. No, you don't want to do it? Are we going to kill our microphones with this? Uh, uh, we'll yeah. figure it I, out. I do it. Shock, shock, shock. One I, way I to hope, find out. I have to close the circuit, though. No, not on me. Oh, no, what are you no. doing? <laughs> okay, are we going to okay. do it? Come close. Uh, ready? Oh, man. Oh, man. It's going to be painful, though. Ow! Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Wow, that was like a, a two-inch spark. <laughs> Mic still work? Woo. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Okay. That woke me up. Down, I'm up. <laughs> Does that hurt you guys too in the middle? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Go. Ooh, Same current wow. as well. It's a mild tingle. Okay. So that that hurt. Uh, I guess <laughs> for the for the theme of this, it's you know dangerous people. So how how else have you gotten hurt? Any any accidents? Like have you actually hurt yourself on well, on I, accident? I, I, I once dropped a 2,000 volt Jacob's ladder on my hand and my skin blew off. So I saw that. Yeah, that, that was scary. the worst one. Other than that, I'm okay so far. Yeah, what know. about the electric guitar? Oh, the electric guitar. <laughs> <laughs> well, typically I try to script my videos to include the, you know, the, the you know, include the funny accidents so people can understand what can go wrong. The, J uh, the electric guitar one, I connected it to a giant capacitor. I wanted to like make a big arc. The arc was disappointing, so I edited one frame of the video and put a very bad arc, and I thought people won't notice, and everyone paused and wa that one single frame. Oh, they got you. shamed me for it. <laughs> <laughs> but funnily enough, that's my highest viewed video. I don't know why, but. Wow, nice. <laughs> And H Hacksmith, I'm sure uh, one of them has to do with that baseball, right? Yeah, I'm starting to get a list of injuries, but um, that was my first broken bone. Really? And uh, it was just kind of funny because it was just so ironic. Like because out of I, all the I things. Say, I broke my hand when we were building a baseball cannon, but it wasn't the baseball cannon that got me. Yeah. It was the ex-MLB player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the... And the annoying, the ironic part was that was the one part of the video I was in. So I came in to do the intro and the backstory about like MLB players are basically superhuman. Like throwing a hundred mile fastball is quite the uh, like actually the feat. broke. And That's they, crazy. they let us go up to bat. And I, I've never played baseball before. I was the third one <laughs> up to bat. I guess the guy was getting tired. He threw it slightly inside. You've got like a third of a second to react. Yeah. I don't have reflexes like that. So I didn't even know it was coming from my hand. It, yeah, very painful. I'm sure, I'm sure. Uh, Drake? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've been able to avoid most of the, uh, you know, crazy injuries, which is kind of surprising, you know. You're not blind. Yeah, yeah, I'm not blind, I'm not blind, but uh, I guess, uh, you know, I've been burned by lasers uh, a few times. Uh, there was one time I had a, uh, had a really strong uh, blue laser running, and uh, when I'm wearing laser goggles, you can't actually see the beam. In one time, I accidentally, I stuck my hand to the beam and I heard my skin getting burned before I felt it. It was sizzling and it wow. like, you know, I roll back and there's like a puff of smoke and uh, you know, left a nice little crater on my hand. But, uh, but other than that, yeah, I haven't had any uh, crazy injuries yet, you know, but uh, I'm, sure there's, uh, I'm sure there's ample opportunities oh, there's in the future. there's plenty of time. That exact thing happened to me too. Oh, yeah, yeah. A MOSFET failed and the uh, failure mode was on. 
Oh yeah, I gave you that Don't laser. You that? Yeah. I gave you that laser. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. The Iron Man laser gauntlet. I was yeah. like doing my thing, burning stuff, and then I think it was I was like trying to light popcorn and make it pop, and then I just bring my hand down. I'm looking at the popcorn and it's just going, and it melted a big hole in my pants. Ooh. That's and then I felt it, and then yeah. I was like, ah. Ah! <laughs> and the camera guy's like, shake, ah! Shake it off. <laughs> that's, that's what you get for trusting my circuit. <laughs> and I had the Iron Man mask with the laser goggles built in, but I had opened it to uh, look at the popcorn. And then when I realized it, I was like, ah! Close, close the mask! Close mask. <laughs> it's a lot of light. What about you, Colin? Um, I've, I've kind of done, done pretty lucky because of the, the speed vehicles and stuff. I've never crashed one of them, and I've got a well, but I have got burnt pretty badly. Basically, I, was, uh, I made a jet engine out of, like, just junk, like complete rubbish, because I yeah, made a yeah. really nice one. Was this a turbo jet one? It's a turbo okay. jet engine, and I made a really nice one out of, like, a lorry turbo, and there was people saying, oh, I was going to make one of them, but it looks so complicated. And I was like, no, it's not complicated. There's got to be a simple way. Rubbish. That's yeah. what you would say. So rubbish. I went into like the hardware store, bought a load of bits, like clambered it all together. It was like held together with a chain yeah. round yeah. it that just basically pulled all the components yeah. together. Okay. And I was getting all ready to test it. And then the kind of constraints I work in is my neighbors are not mm. my best friends at times. And it was like a, it must have been like a Sunday or a Saturday afternoon, and they were having like a tea party in the garden, like textbook British oh, yeah. thing. They got their mates around having a tea party. Colin's like, right, let's get this jet engine spooled up. <laughs> and I'm thinking, right, we'll shut all the doors, you know, because I'm a considerate person. I'm not just going to go like, you know, wailing these things out. Yeah. So I shut the doors, got it all ready. And then I think I was like, went off, had something to eat, came back again, thought that I was ready to do it but the gas bottle, the gas line to the gas bottle wasn't tight. So I sat there ages messing around, putting the air compressor in, trying to spool it up. The whole time, it was leaking. gas was just leaking oh. all over the workbench. Oh. And then all of a sudden, it popped a spark at the back. The whole thing just went up in front of my face. Oh, my gosh. And all I remember is like, bang, off it went. I ran outside. And I lifted my arm up, and I could move all my skin around on my Ooh. forearm. And I just looked, and I was like, this is going to really wow. hurt in a minute. Yeah. This is. <laughs> and then there was like the second thought. was like, wait a minute. All the doors were shut on the shed. So Ooh, like, it no. blew the doors open, like probably open. And then the next the chaotic moment, it's like, right, so you got mega badly burnt. I ran upstairs, like took all my clothes off, got in the shower. I was like sitting there like just thinking, right, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Because I was on my own. And like the missus had gone out shopping, I'm like, I'm not going to ring her up because she's not going to be very happy. I've blown all my skin off. So yeah, I like, won't yeah. worry her. I won't ring my mum up because my mum's like petrified of fire. And I'm like, this is literally realising her worst yeah. memories. You, you don't want her to say, I told yeah. you so. So I sat there Googling, like, what do you do if you really burn yourself? <laughs> and it turns out you like cover yourself in cling film. I don't know if you have cling film up here. It's like the stuff you wrap sandwiches up with. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I run down to the kitchen. I'm naked, wet. <laughs> You try wrapping the cling film around yourself, wet and naked, and you, I'm like literally in the kitchen, like going, I can't do this, can't do this. And I got it wrapped up. Did actually help though, help quite a lot. She stops the air getting to it. So I went upstairs, I'm like putting my arms in the bath. I'm like, right, now what do I do? I'm still on my own, I'm still in pain. <laughs> so I basically drove myself down to the hospital, kept putting my arms out the van window to like cool, cool them down. down. And then just like ran into the hospital, like I burned myself really bad. I don't want to queue up, just see me now, please. And then they kind of sorted it out, and that was it. Yeah. Oh, so, man, that's, a, that's crazy. But it, it took skin off all my arm. It took a little bit off the tip of my nose and down here. Sometimes if I go out in the sun, my tip of my nose gets a bit red. You may see it on some videos, actually, got little red bits on huh. and whatnot. But then the funnest part, because like, we all like picking scabs, don't we? Like, oh, my no, whole no. arm was Who a doesn't? massive scab. No. And I just, you'd sit there watching telly, just sit there scratching. And then you'd look down, and it's like you've got a bowl of cereals worth of shot. Oh, no. Order in the court. <laughs> Give me the shocker. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> but that's the story of when I got burned. Oh, you win. That sounds really <laughs> painful. <laughs> well, I, a lot of people describe me and you, Mehdi, as the opposite in, when it comes to danger, because they say that, that you're a smart guy who like, makes himself look bad on, on purpose you know, with these fake accidents, and they think that I think that I'm smart, and I really have all these accidents on purpose because I'm dumb. Well, <laughs> it's good that people think I'm smart. 
Uh, or, yeah, they think that, <laughs> they think my accidents are accidents. <laughs> well, I try to, like I said, uh, my accidents, but I, I, it, they happen. It happened to all they, of us. They so. do. They do. And I like what you do because you kind of show what can happen. Yeah, yeah. I uh, usually I try to design something. I blew myself off off camera, and I regret it because I, I don't have a camera rolling. And then you're like, ah, oh, shit, yeah, I got to do this again. Yeah, I have to do it again in front of the eyes. Maybe he's not quite as intelligent then. He has to, <laughs> he has to electrocute himself more than once. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I should install like security cameras everywhere in the place. So, uh, oh, definitely. Everything happens. But more things happen than you think. <laughs> and so, we keep saying, don't try this at home. We are professionals. But yeah, we blew ourselves up. <laughs> We do. So be careful. So uh, who here has been visited by the FBI before? Let me see a show of Definitely hands. Definitely here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, it seems FBI doesn't care about electricity. Just, you know. <laughs> so I know what happened to you, Drake, but what happened, to, what happened with you? So it was an interesting story. Basically, we <laughs> saw a Google review for our business pop up, and it was... It was like three stars, and it was from a local guide who was not local. Okay. And it, it kind of rambled on like a conspiracy theorist, and he was basically saying something about our website not being secure. I'm like, okay, weird. And then one day, a police, like an un undercover cop shows up at the front door, and he's like, we got this report. And okay. I was like... Your website's unsecure. It literally clicked in my head. I'm like, we got this really weird review from this guy. So apparently what the rule is in the U.S. is uh, if you, and he, he sent a handwritten letter to the FBI being like, I'm worried about Hacksmith Industries. They have may, may have been hacked. Oh, because of the hack. Because like hacks? So they I have you no were... idea. Anyways, so you the guy's like, on. yeah, it's policy. They have to run it up the ladder. And in this case, they had to run it to the Canadian equivalent. And then they had to send it down to the local office. Wow. And then they had to come to our building and be like, so we got this complaint. And it was just like the weirdest thing ever. And we explained, and he's like, okay, yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Wow. And then they left, but yeah. <laughs> wow, that's like, I wonder if crazy Russian hacker ever got anything like that. <laughs> what about you, Drake? Oh, about my FBI visit? Oh yeah, tell us about oh, the yeah, FBI so visit. Was, you, know, I, you know, with what I do, you kind of, uh, with what all we do, we kind of expect, uh, you know, visits from, uh, you know, the, the big, uh, Big scary guys, but but what, when it happened with me, uh, it started where I, I found some I found some kittens in my backyard. And I was playing with them, and uh, so it was kind of like you know I, I was in a relaxed mood, you know. And then this, this big SUV pulls in the driveway, and uh, I'm like, huh, like maybe this is a, a new neighbor because uh, I just moved into a uh, I just moved into the cabin into a cabin in the woods in the middle of nowhere. Huh. So nothing nothing <laughs> suspicious there, right? Yeah. And uh, but these guys walk out, and then then I starts clicking like, oh, maybe this is my visit, right? And and sure enough, they pull they they pull out their badges and say, hey, we're with the FBI. I'm thinking, oh, so they well, do the thing. They flip it down, and they're yeah, like, yeah, they flip it down. It, it, it's like yeah. in the movies. Yeah. It, it's like in the movies. They they pull it out, and uh, so I was kind of honored to have that, you know. <laughs> but but then I'm trying to think, you know, you know, what are they actually visiting me about? They tell me they were, they, they were concerned about things I ordered online. But, like, I, I order a lot of, of weird... Yeah, you're, you're like going to have to be a lot of specific. Soviet parts, uh, like, you know, old Soviet parts. Uh, so I didn't know if they thought I was, like, you know, helping some, like, war efforts. And then I, I also order a lot of uh, sketchy things from China. But they said they, were, they didn't like the chemicals that I had bought. And, uh, but then I had to tell them that, oh, you know, I'm a chemist and, you know, I'm a YouTuber. And they're like, we know that. So like, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You're so like, oh, that was my ace card. Like, now it, now it what? Gets, <laughs> it gets harder to backpedal at that point, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but they're like, you know, you have, uh, you ordered 100 pounds of, uh, of chemicals you can make bombs out of. I'm like, well, I do make explosives, you know? <laughs> and, and, then, and then looking back, As it's like, lawyer, oh. I'm going to have to advise you to, to not yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah, because it's like, oh, did I really just tell the FBI that I make explosives? Uh, but I, I'm allowed to. But they're like. You're not planning on, on hurting anybody with them. I'm like, no. I'm like, oh, okay. You still stroking the cats at this point? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah I, I, uh, I definitely uh, I kept some of those cats. They were, in fact, I actually named, huh, I got the, 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 dumbest, uh, the dumbest naming for a cat uh, that I end up taking. My cat's name is F-B-I-K-A, Fabika. <laughs> to commemorate, because I found her the day right before the uh, FBI showed up. So maybe she's a drone. 
Maybe. No. Oh. She is very. He is cute. No. Nice. You know, now we have like trading cards, right? We can trade our like yeah. FBI business cards to each other. It's like better than the the gold play button is yeah, uh, yeah. stacking those FBI FBI it business is. cards because you got you got the holographic. Yeah, one, one of I'm mine's so like it's a holographic. It has like a gold stamp on it. Mine, it's shiny. Mine's just regular ink. <laughs> So uh, what about you? I heard you got arrested a while ago, right? I did, obviously not by the FBI. Um, I've not managed to annoy people internationally. You got held up in customs or something, right? Interpol? Yeah, on the way here. Yeah. yeah. Everyone else went straight through. You, you're coming with me. And then about <laughs> 10 minutes later, I come limping out of this little room. <laughs> uh, turns out I've not got anything on me. But uh, yeah, I, got, I, I put a flamethrower on the back of a moped in 2010, and I, I dressed it all up. It was like a James Bond moped. I thought, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Sent the, uh, but, story but it was like a, to, like a Vespa. Yeah, sent the story out to the newspapers. And newspapers, you, you send them a story, and then sometimes they'll look at it and go, it's a nice story, we're going to rewrite it. And then basically they was like, don't tailgate this guy, he'll set fire to your car. Which, to be fair, is a good headline. It's great. It's cl- but yeah. it worried a lot of people in the town. <laughs> like, so they, they think you're actually the out there, vigilante, like, like setting people on fire that tailgate? Exactly. I mean, it's not yeah. a bad idea, really. But, um, so anyway, this, this, the police, they actually rang me up while I was at work because I'd been doing like, some work in the town trying to get a skate park, so they had my telephone number. So it was a very strange arrest. They, they like, pre-warned me, we're, gonna, we're coming round for you. <laughs> so I said, like, oh, yeah, well, I'm not at home at the moment. I'll be there in about an hour and a half. I wasn't. I was in the van, turned straight round. I knew <laughs> what it was about. You're like, I have an hour and a half to get rid of the scooter. Yeah, so I get back, try to go in the garage in the scooter, like, start disconnecting stuff, knock, knock. Oh, here we go. So anyway, he knocks on the door, literally, first question, hello, Colin, do you have a firearms license? No. Started to arrest me. And then the guy that's Aww. arrested me was a young old boy, and he's like shaking like mad. And I was like, are you okay? <laughs> and he was like proper shaking. I'm like, you're arresting me, and yeah. you're shaking, <laughs> sort of thing. And it turns out I was his first ever arrest. Really? Yeah. So like this, Oh, he's going like, to tell that story forever. You can just imagine going to work and go, oh, we got a first one for you. <laughs> So anyway, I get bundled in the back of a van, taken to the police station. And the whole time I'm in the back of the van, I'm thinking, right, they're going to look at my YouTube channel, aren't they? So I started going through the videos. I've got like a flamethrower strapped to my BMX, private. <laughs> Driving around with fire in the back of the truck, private that. Yeah. Got all these bits, for serving food out of it, private. I'm like, oh my God, I've got driving offences stacking <laughs> yeah. up. Everything's going against me here. So, but they gave me back. I was like, spent a night in, my, in the, well, not a night evening in this cell and I had to ring my girlfriend up for her parents to come and pick me up and we'd only been together like not that long so this is like a good introduction to the family <laughs> and uh, and then basically they, they screaming at me you can't have flamethrowers Colin it's like a prohibited weapon only the military can have them and then there was like this long period of like where they kind of think about what they're going to do with you so it was like three or four weeks of me like with this firearms thing hanging over my head like yeah oh, oh, god you know? yeah then part of me is like, I really want to milk this on the internet, but I can't. And then I go and see them, and then they're basically all, they're all laughing then, aren't they? Ha <laughs> ha, if you're going to do that, don't put it in the newspapers with pictures all over it. And then I was like, what's happening with the, uh, with the bike, by the way? Because the bike had, like, false number plates and everything on it. Only, do, like, one, only they... do one illegal thing at a time. Yeah, so there was, <laughs> there was like, mountains of stuff in. I was like, if they try and scrap it, then it's like, this bike doesn't exist. What's yeah. it? And they said, oh, no, you can go and like, pick it up from the pound. And I went and picked it up, and they gave me it back, and the flamethrower is still on it. What? Are you? And I'm like, <laughs> what? What was this all about? You know, I've made this dangerous no thing that only okay. the army can make. And then you go, have it back, Colin. <laughs> it's, it's like, I wouldn't even want to touch it. I'd be like, mm. it's, 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 it's like radioactive at this point. re-arrested on the way home. Yeah. They've, like, they've like, got all the evidence properly stacked up this time. Right, wait till he gets like 10 minutes down the road, then we'll go and have him again. Ah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's great. I haven't been arrested yet, so... I, what did the FBI uh, visit you twice over? Uh, <laughs> twice. Well, one was the FBI, one was the bomb squad. Oh, nice. So, That's what an honor. Uh, I, for the first time, I made a stinky gas. You know the gas that's in uh, like natural gas to let you know that there's a gas leak? I made the chemical that, that makes that gas, and they were worried that somebody would use it to try to, like, you know, release it in a building and, and cause a panic or something like that. Hydrogen sulfide? Yeah, hydrogen oh, sulfide. Oh, yeah, that's scary. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of toxic, too. So. Very. Um, I didn't know why the FBI came over, though. So they knock on the door, they do the wallet flipping thing, they say, we're with the FBI, and then they ask me, why do you think we're here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I couldn't help myself. I was like, oh, the exploding bullets, that's why you're here. And they're like, 
the what? Why? <laughs> 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 And then I'm like, okay, uh, so why are you here? And they, they told me that, you know, I finally figured it out without incriminating myself any, anymore. So, and then, and then another time the, the bomb squad came over because I was, I was shooting a potato can in, in a county park. And they, I guess he What's watches... What's wrong with that? Well, I, I don't know. I think it's probably like shooting a giant potato can in, part, in, the, in the public park park part, but he, the, he was watching my channel, so I don't think he was like mad about it, he was just like letting me know, hey, don't do this, because you know, we could get you in trouble. It was like a courtesy thing, I think. You want to get some stray cats, so if they turn up again, I, why yeah. are we here? Oh, are just, these your cats? Yeah, menacingly pet the cat the whole time. So, uh, 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 no, I don't know what to say now, this is my first time moderating. <laughs> So are there any videos that you couldn't post because you think they might be too dangerous or, or anything that you decided against posting? Well, I posted, you know, for November, I made a video, just threw in some quick video where I tried to remove my mustache in different ways, sharpened a spoon to shave my mustache, I don't know, zapped my mustache to electrolyte, uh, what do you call it when electrolysis? Hair removal. Oh, yeah. And then set it on fire. And, well, uh, YouTube deleted it for me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. Yeah, anybody else? Or anything like, what, what is, what's been demonetized on YouTube that you, you weren't expecting to get demonetized? Well, what I realized is that, for me, YouTube doesn't really care about electrocution. If you die electrocuting yourself, YouTube doesn't care. But as soon as they see a bit of flame in your videos, they bang. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's like <laughs> that, yeah. Fire, so is, irritating. fire so is very bad. And, and like for me, I'm styro pyro. So like, you know, I, I make a lot of dangerous things, but yeah, it's the fire they don't like. And it's like, come on, it's just like electricity can kill you in like a millisecond. And then, and then like, I'm just playing with some like gentle fire and they're like, oh no, like that's bad. You know, you, you can't play with that. It's like, oh, come on, you know? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's very weird how those, uh, you know, what actually gets demonetized versus what's actually dangerous, because th those, like, that Venn diagram has little overlap, or, or less than <laughs> you'd think, at least. I'm surprised some more of my videos haven't been demonetized. Really? There's ones... Um, like the early ones. Yeah, and just, like, I don't know if anyone's seen the spinning belt of knives. <laughs> yes. So, yes. Yeah. This, this the, 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 the weirdest story with this, it, it's, it's basically this... It was a belt of knives, and it spins around you, but it's eight carving knives, and they're all bloody, they're sharp. They're like proper sharp. You just drop veg through it and stuff, and it just disappears. And it did catch me. I've got a little, a little scar here, because my friend, we thought it'd be a good idea to shove a blow-up doll into oh, them. Oh, and it like flipped and it, it and up. And it flipped up and, and clipped me. But the weirdest thing with this project was, is that m for most of the time, we are the testers, and we are the test dummies, so we, we wear the things and we do it, and then we see it on camera. I had this French guy come over, this French presenter, and he's like, I want to go on that. Mm. And I was like, come on, nobody's normally asked to go on these <laughs> yeah, things. You, the the knife he, belt, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, and he put it on, and I was stood next to him, and he turned it on, and I was, I was like, oh my God. Like, that is freaky. Like, Seeing the it on noise, they like, the, all yeah. the, the knives glistening and everything, I'm like, oh, I, I nearly didn't ever want to get back in it again, because it like proper Yeah, once you see it from, like, from yeah. your angle, you're like, what, am I, what was I thinking? Yeah, that, that freaked me out. <laughs> oh man, one time, uh, so I made a giant ballista one time. It's like a giant crossbow from Game of Thrones, one that, the ones that they used to shoot the dragons. So I remade that, and, oh, and, YouTube, dragons. and YouTube demonetized that. And they said, well, you know, you're, you're showing instructions on how to make weapons. And I'm, I'm like, if somebody, if somebody makes this, they deserve to hurt themselves with it. Yeah, Do you know how really? hard this was to make? <laughs> like, kids can't make this, and if they do, they're geniuses, you know? <laughs> so. I agree. And you've also gotten in trouble <laughs> for, our, for chemistry stuff too, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I've, uh, it's funny because I, I, uh, I found this old book in the trash that's from 1933. It's filled with uh, chemical recipes that were like, it's almost like chemistry life hacks if, uh, like it's from a century ago. And most of them are pretty good, but uh, some of them are like, you know, the stupidest things like ever made by our species. And so I wanted to make a video, you know, about doing some of these horrible ideas. And, uh, and I had made a couple of these videos. And then suddenly YouTube's like, oh, actually, yeah. like, 
they're good, but actually these are horrible, and you're going to get banned. So they, they, stri they got two strikes instantly, and at, at that point, Ooh. my channel was one strike away from yeah. being deleted forever. Wow. And, like, and that, my channel had been up for over a decade, and it was, like, pretty panic-inducing. Well, this was, like, the adpocalypse, you know? I'm, I'm yeah, sure yeah. all of you had, uh, had... It was a little touchy back then. Yeah, it was, it was, it was frightening, you know? So, so we have to learn, like... Uh, we have to learn, like, you know, what's, you know, what YouTube doesn't like, and we kind of, because it's hard to actually ask YouTube what's, uh, you know, what's allowed and what's not. So we kind of have to feel it out, and uh, it, it's pretty complicated. I mean, to be fair, some of the recipes were like hydrochloric acid lemonade. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, and, and actually, that's, uh, it's not as uh, sour as you would expect. But, <laughs> but in my, it, it's, and I, I did drink some, yeah. But, uh, but it's funny because. In my last one of, the, of this video series, uh, so they did, they did demonetize it, uh, but it was for, like, the safest thing in the entire book. So, like, I made this, like, little smoke bomb, and they're like, oh, that's bad. But in another recipe, there's, it makes a gas that if it gets to 0.1% in air and you take one breath, you die instantly. And they, they were okay with that. So what? it's like, what are they doing? What gas is that? Oh, hydrogen sulfide. Yeah. Oh, oh, the one that I that I was showing. Oh, yes. that makes a lot more sense. Point one percent in air, one breath, you die. So that's that's wow. lovely. Oh, so we, we almost burned the garage down one time, and we had already had a close call with the fire department. Yeah. So we were extra nervous. Basically, what happened? Our very first proto lightsaber, the MOSFETs blew, uh. and a lipo almost caught fire. Wow. We did the responsible thing. We used the fire extinguisher, but it was a chemical fire extinguisher, which is so, like nasty so it did yellow smoke. Yeah. Oh, that's it gets. And what there. happened is, well, we we opened the garage door, and the smoke came out. And some passerby saw the smoke from the distance, didn't wow. come see if everything was okay, and just called 911. So then we had to explain to the fire department, and that's when we realized the fire department doesn't know much about lipos, which was the scariest part, okay. because basically you could see where the fire with the MOSFET was. Yeah. And the batteries were plugged directly into it, like the leads from the lipos. Oh, and like they were 6S, 5,000 milliamp batteries. There's like 10 wow. of them. It was literally like and it was just a like stack of D TNT. Yeah. And they, they had no idea what they were. And it's just like, yeah, if we didn't put it out, like it would have been a, a real big issue. So anyway, a few weeks pass by, and we're building the original sleeping pod in the garage. We had hung some curtains on the wall. And um, wait, no. It was, yeah, we had some curtains on the wall, and Ian was doing some welding in the sleeping pod. Bogdan was in the sleeping pod. This was before the, the conveyor belt was in. Okay. So Bogdan's just standing in there. And um, the security camera picked up the footage. It's fantastic footage, but we never posted it because reasons. Yeah. <laughs> you can see him welding, and you can see the definite big spark from the welder that just goes Ooh. Lands, lands right on the, the curtains. Yeah. Then you see the like, flame start. And then Ian's just kind of like standing there, admiring his work. And then he like notices that there's a drill next to him. He's like, eh, I'm going to go plug this battery into charge. Oh, no. So he didn't he even leaves. notice the flames? <laughs> the camera is behind an editor on a computer. Like, it was this perfect shot. And you see this fire just like start to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And no one notices, not even the editor, who it's like practically in the line of sight yeah. from the computer. They're Bogdan's totally the one who fire. notices because he's standing in the pod facing away from where the fire is. And originally Ian was welding and grinding, so he's used to like sparks and light coming. And then he realized Ian wasn't there and smoke started coming in. And he just like turns around to this wall of fire. Yeah. Yells, fire! <laughs> and he, he jumps off the work table down. I was in the office at the time, so I walk out of the office to like this wall of fire. Yep, that's just, like fire. the whole curtain was up. Yeah. Run downstairs, grab a fire extinguisher, um, put it out, luckily. Garage is like filling with smoke, but I'm like, I don't want another like, fire department call. So we kept the garage door shut <laughs> this because time, we didn't yeah. want to let smoke <laughs> out. Crazy. But um, after we put it out, we, we went down and it, it caught fire again. We hadn't, we hadn't done a good job. No way. This time, Ian grabs the remains that are kind of on fire, not really, runs them outside, throws them into the backyard. We go out front of the garage um, to recover from the smoke. And me and Ian are literally lying like on the pavement, just like, like we, like we did it, we did it. Nom <laughs> kind of thing. And this neighbor pokes his head over the fence. And he's like, 
Did you know there's a fire in your backyard? No. <laughs> it's like those both, birthday candles that you can't put out. <laughs> and both me and Ian, like, look up, slowly stand up, and we're like, yes. <laughs> Calmly open the door to the garage. Yeah. And then book it through the garage, <laughs> out the back door. Sure enough, the, the remains of the curtain were on fire on the lawn near the deck. It could have been, like, wow. so much worse. <laughs> and yeah, we spent that entire night repainting the wall because it was all charred black, and by Monday morning, you couldn't tell anything had happened. Yeah, wow. We almost set the garage on fire at my place one time. Yeah. We, we were playing with Thermite. You remember that? <laughs> Good times. Uh, thermite's great. <laughs> so do we want to do some questions? How much time? Oh, 10 minutes? Should we do some questions? We have 10 minutes. Yeah, let's do some questions. So you can line up on the microphone right there and uh, tell us your questions. So, how's it going? There. I'm all right. Hi, I'm Good. Felix. Uh, I do like 3D modeling, but I'm teaching myself uh, coding right now. And I was wondering if you guys are in the middle of learning any particular new skills, uh, what if, or if you want to, anything that you want to expand. Thank you. Um, so, are you learning any new skills recently? Are you trying to learn any new skills? Uh, I've gotten a bit into knife making from, uh, I, I went and visited Nate from the internet and he showed me how to oh, make a knife in his nice. basement. I'm like, this is cool. I want to do this. Yeah. I haven't found time to do it yet, but it's hard. I will. Now, if you've ever tried knife making before, you're like, oh yeah, you just kind of like grind it into the shape of a knife and no, it's way harder than that. So it takes a lot of practice. What about oh, you? Well, I'm enjoying electronics so much. They're basic analog electronics, building things with discrete. But I really want to get into learning a little bit of Arduino, which seems everybody knows except me. Mm. You know, yeah, I, I'm, I can do cool stuff with it, so I, I like to learn that at some point. Same. Yeah, I'm learning how to, uh, how to tame 100,000 amps. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's very, very scary. Uh, I have 100 car batteries wired in parallel. And, uh, uh, 100 car batteries. 100 car batteries wired in parallel. In fact, the, the wiring is... Uh, it's 10 quadruple odd wires in parallel, and if the bank shorts, it'll melt all of them. Wow. You should do that when you're done with whatever you're doing, because that yeah. sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah it's, it's a scary thing to learn. How do you keep all those charged at the same time? You just have to, like, go down I the just, line? I, I just made a... Well, or they're you all just in, charge them all in parallel? Yeah, parallel. Oh, okay. I just charge them all in parallel. It's, uh, I wound a transformer for it, and it's, it's really ridiculous and stupid, but uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a new skill. <laughs> What about you, Colin? Um, after seeing your laser weldy cleany video, oh well, yeah, I've got to get me one of those. Get one of those. They're so good. Use uh, now I'm just cleaning everything. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you get? You got one? Uh, yeah, I got one. Nice. Yeah, did you, did you use code backyard? Did I what? So no, I no, I, I got a slightly <laughs> different one actually. I was a little bit okay. uh, a little bit dubious about each one, and I wanted a uh, free free phase one because you don't have. Do you have free phase power out here? No, not really. Fifteen volts. No, not not in houses normally. All right. So so yeah. So I got a slightly larger one. And, uh, oh. and I've got a nice rusty car, which I think might disappear if I just face <laughs> it to it. The whole so car might disappear? It might do. It's mostly rust. But no, the welding and everything on it is quite, quite strange. Yeah. If you know anything about welding, a laser welder is very odd to use. It doesn't yeah. weld like you think a welder would work. So. Yeah, it just kind of like fuses it together almost. Like. Yeah, and it's, it's so fast. It's like you don't see a weld pool or anything. It just goes, bzzz, and then it's done. It's have, crazy. Have you burned yourself with it? No, but I've got, so you might know where this is going to go. I've got like a bit of a manky toe. You know, like you get like a bit of a, I don't know, what's, what's it called? Like a, just manky toe, basically. Like, like I, you get, you get like, like a... How do I get rid of this manky toe? And you can put like creams and stuff on it. But you basically uh, have to wait for the toenail to grow out. That takes ages. Oh, like you drop something on it. And kinda. then I saw that you could get laser treatment for oh, the manky no. toe. <laughs> And I'm like, That's a different kind of laser, Colin. No, I've got laser and I've got cutters. Now I've got a cleaner. Surely that will solve the toe. There's a future video that's probably going to get demonetized. Me trying to clean my manky toe with my laser cleaner. That's oh, a wow. disgusting fact I've revealed. <laughs> Don't come swimming with Colin. All right, next question. All right, so I have a, a question for you. So I think any of us that's learned new skills and like made stuff in our lives, we look back and we're like, it's the perpetual cycle of you don't know Jack. You look back at yourself five years ago and you're like, man, I was stupid. Oh yeah. I, I'm curious about like some of those moments you guys have had where you've had those moments of clarity about your former self 
compared to who you are now? Yeah, well, I, I, uh, typically I stick to basic electronics, but then I watch a lot of YouTube from these guys. I'm a fan of these guys too. <laughs> and then, like Veritasium or other science channels that I watch, I learn that magnetic fields are fake, gravity is fake, everything is fake, so it changed my whole prospect of universe. <laughs> and I still don't know how they work. And that's my problem. <laughs> I think when you look back at your early videos, you, you, you like gain a perception of what you think will work and what, you know, when you build something, like now we probably look at it and go, that'll break there, that's not strong enough. Definitely. That needs to be lighter, that needs to be like this. So I think you kind of get that as you go along. And then you look back at some of your videos, and sometimes you look at things like, can't believe that worked. If I yeah, well, right I now, got really lucky with that one. I would that's a failure from the word go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, one time, I, uh, I uh, purposefully touched the output of a 15,000-watt Tesla coil, and uh, that was pretty stupid. And that was just a few months ago. <laughs> <laughs> what hurt worse? Was it, did, that, did Betty's thing hurt worse, or was the Tesla coil oh, worse? Th actually, your accident with the Jacob's Ladder is probably the most dangerous accident by a famous YouTuber on YouTube. That would be my... I would say so. That, that was way worse than my yeah. Tesla coil. Uh, no, what I, about the wand right there? I, I, I win the Hall of Fame for dumbest accident. <laughs> nice. Not dumbest, but it was dangerous. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. You all work on a lot of crazy and challenging ideas. I'm curious how you're able to pull it off and actually execute on them. Are there any lessons you've learned so far over all these projects you've done? Oh, uh, I have one. So yeah, I think we're just really stubborn people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, mostly, for me, I would say uh, it doesn't have to work perfectly. It just has to work once for YouTube. So that's, that's my secret. Yeah, I have a lot of that. I do you a know? lot of that. Yeah. But pretty much every project we do, we learn a lot too. Like, for example, the first time I made a Tesla coil, I didn't know how it worked. I had to you know, research the whole thing and learn how it worked. And since I didn't know how it worked, I shocked myself multiple times in the process too, right? So <laughs> uh, well, my last video didn't work. So really? <laughs> it's my first epic failure. Wow, but did you publish it anyway? I did, did you yeah, just I put send it out it? there because I thought, you know. Good, nice. People like to see failures. And it was, it was kind of weird, but I felt, I felt strange uploading it because I'm like, this totally didn't do what I wanted it to do. I had a feeling like three, three quarters of the way, I'm like, don't think I've chose the right donor vehicle for this. Oh, sort yeah. Of thing. But you've kind of gone into it, and it's like, you have that moment, oh, do I put it out? And I was like, but no, because you know, a lot of people will come up to me and go, oh, I've tried this, it's not work, you know, everything you do seems to work. And I'm like, let's just do this to say that it doesn't always work. Sort what of thing. was it? I, I haven't seen it. It's like a, it was a high, um, it was an amphibious concept from the 50s, which, funnily enough, never took off. Huh. So, and, uh, but it was basically, there was these weird shaped wheels. They were like these hemispherical wheels, and the concept was the further it sank into the mud, the more traction it would get. Okay. But I used this hydraulic dumper, which was like hydraulically driven, but I put massive wheels on it. But I kind of okay. thought, like, you know, a dumper truck's like been designed to take like tons of rubble around a building site, you know, if I strip it of as much weight as possible, just put slightly bigger wheels on it, surely it should still have enough torque in hand. But yeah, it didn't, yeah. so it just wouldn't crawl up like the slightest of hills. Oh, well, it had like spherical wheels too, or, or the, oh, I saw, yeah, they were kind of like cambered out a little bit. Yeah, they were, okay. on, they were on the angle. Yeah. Um, I mean, it looked, it did look really cool. So yeah. at the end of it, it I looked at it and I was like, well, it does look smart, it just doesn't quite work like I want to do. Gotcha. Um, next question? So, uh, you guys work a lot with electricity, and I think electricity is pretty cool. So, a while ago, I had an idea for a Tesla coil for home defense, and I just wanted to know what you guys thought of it. I wouldn't break into any house with a Tesla coil. Tesla coil for home defense? Have you not already got one? <laughs> <laughs> well, for home defense, hmm. The thing is that as soon as you turn it on, it makes so much radiation, probably... FCC will come after you. <laughs> it knocks out all your security cameras. Another FBI incident, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because this is, a, this is sort of a, an idea I want to do on YouTube, but like, I don't know how I'm going to pull it off. But, but the, the twist is I actually want to defend my garden with a Tesla coil. Uh, so like, because like, you know, Tesla coils look really scary, uh, but like, it's, it's hard to actually die from the actual like, 
you know, lightning that shoots out of it. It's usually the thing driving it, the, the like, uninteresting box under it that's the most dangerous part. But, uh, but, yeah, I was hoping to, like, scare away things that, like, you know, destroy everything that I garden. But, uh, but I don't think YouTube would be cool, like, zapping every living thing with a uh, giant Tesla coil. Mm, maybe not. Yeah. Well, I, I, wish, I wish we could target an arc to a certain, like, target. Like, you see an intruder and go, pack! <laughs> oh, Unfortunately, cool. electricity just goes wherever it wants, right? But you should get a fire. Sometimes you can get it to uh, the arc to shoot through Charting the fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but at that point, you can just burn them. You don't need to, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for this panel. We're, we're out of time, so thank you, everybody. Thanks for the questions, and thank you to our guests. Thank you very much. Thank you. Open Source is back. An event described as better than expected and I can't believe it wasn't a disaster. Come see groundbreaking technology like this thing. So creepy. And smell over 150 of the best looking creators on YouTube. It's all happening at Cow Palace. June 15th and 16th, San Francisco, Cow Palace. Get your tickets now at opensauce.live.